Hi, I'm Ivan Rodriguez. I'm a master's student at the University of Puerto Rico. Uh, we're working with uh, detecting behavior in honeybees. So as you many of you know, uh, honeybees are very interesting insects. The different roles within the, the, the hive, and they work really hard. They, they like working. So, so they, the motivation is that this, this work they do, they, they divide it somehow. So some of the bees decided to go in the morning, some other decide to go in the afternoon, some other constantly going, and uh, even some of them, they get tired of getting in the morning, so they go in the afternoon. And this type of shift in behavior the, or, or type of chief and role, sometimes they go foraging, looking for pollen, but sometimes they just stop doing that. It's, it's a very interesting question that is hard to, to track, mostly because it's hard to get reliable data on specific individuals. So, so far, many people mark them with numbers, and literally they just wait in the hive to see if they come with the number and mark them. But of course, this is uh, really uh, not not a, not a good method, right? So in the UPR, we decided to uh, have a, an experimental session like this. And this setup allows us to record um, the honeybees when the, in, at the hive when they are. And, and as you can see, maybe in some, of, some of the intervals go really fast. So even if we just record and then analyze, it would be hard for annotator to say, oh yeah, there was a bee going there with pollen. So, so with this idea in mind, the Big DV project just got born, and and we we are trying to do analysis of behavior automatically using massive um, computing. So we have terabytes of video, and we want to analyze them, uh, hopefully really fast. And then all the all the information we gather from these observations uh, can help development in the biology part. So, so one of the first. Um, things we try and we are working right now, it's uh, using tags to tag each of these bees, uh, putting a, a QR code in the back of them, a really small QR code, and and then when we detect them, try to see uh, what, what are they doing, if they're entering, they're leaving, if they bring pollen or not. But even even in this setup, it's a still a uh, hard, hard task. So we wanted to see if, if we were able to do it uh, on all of them. And in 2017, Cal uh, showed that human pose estimation was possible in real time. So we asked uh, maybe we can uh, try to do some, some sort of the same thing for, for animals and for insects. And we developed this uh, flexible framework that let us uh, train on different parts that the, um, a user can define. So in this case, we're showing five parts that we decide to to detect in the in the in the in the in the honeybee, and we do it by uh, detecting confidence map of each, on each of the parts and and uh, doing what they, it's called the paraffinity fields that is uh, encoding the, the the connection between them, so it makes it faster to detect and correctly associate. So now, uh, what we can do is actually detect them, but also have a very precise location of some of the interesting parts. And this is very interesting because even when they're closer, we are able to detect uh, antennas. We're able to detect uh, when they're, they are interacting each other within uh, each other, which is um, a very um, well promising promising uh, tools that can may help us to understand better these behaviors. And specifically for foraging, we now we have a very precise detection uh, that we can apply tracking by prediction. And here we we can also show um, the trajectories is uh, they're they're following, which is going to help us to learn when they're entering, when they're leaving, or even just staying uh, cool in the colony. And and of course we wanted to see if, one of the problems is see if we bring pollen or not. So we start by manually annotating when they bring pollen and some other ones, and we reach to 96 per seven. Uh, 96 percent of accuracy, but when we use automatic post compensation, we get actually 100 percent of of detection of this uh, of this uh, activity. Um, and one of the things we we just thought we could be possible, maybe it's a crazy idea, is maybe trying to build some kind of uh, face recognition, but the B in the B framework and. 
And now we, we, we're trying to do that by, since we have the stacks on some of the bees, every time we detect them, trying to build uh, a sort of a feature uh, selector. We, we, we're working with an undergrad student there that is doing a Siamese network to build a feature structure that can help us to identify e each of these bees. Also, uh, this framework is uh, helping us now to, in, in other cases, so in mice, we are also detecting the mice and the behavior because it's really important to see when they're close and most of the current methods they have used uh, are not good in these cases, but yeah, this is the word. Thank you. <laughs>